What is up, designers? My name is Will Haddock, and I'm here with Jordan Clark for the first designer spotlight on the new branding. How are you doing today, Jordan? I'm fine, Will. You? I'm doing great. So, uh, Jordan's alias, as you guys might have seen on the channel before, is Chaser Designs. Uh, Chaser is an amazing designer and, without a doubt, the best choice to kick off the new branding for Designer Spotlight. And so we're just going to go in and talk about graphics and what graphics mean to Jordan here. And in the background is a video by him. Uh, Jordan, do you want to talk about the uh, actual video that's behind us right now? The video behind us is um, one of my favorite videos I've made just simply because of its simplicity. Um, as you know, probably in most of my art, um, I use simple designs. Um, simplicity is the ultimate form of sophistication is my rule mm -hmm. and doing that makes my designs I think look clean and just simple oh. so the what the what the video in the background is um, a recruitment challenge for one of my for a team I, I was gonna join before I joined okay awesome I like it I like it I, I like that uh, little caption there simplicity is the ultimate form of sophistication so, uh, Jordan, how did you find your way into graphic design? Well, my brother um, was, he started a gra graphic design course for in college and seeing what he made, it was, to me, w when I saw it, it was just incredible. So, I downloaded Photoshop. When I started, it was, it was, it was the hardest thing to just make my way around, but I practiced to t look at watching tutorials and stuff and just got better every time I practiced very cool very cool so it's safe to say that graphic design runs in your blood mm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so you know talking about that you know how you found your way into graphics you know what what does graphics mean to you graphic design really to me on, on YouTube really means just showing your work to people. Graphic designing is just making what you think is good and you, you, you can't make a bad design. What, what you think is good is good to you, if that makes sense. No, that makes perfect sense. It's a re that's a really good tip. And uh, so graphics to you is, you know, whatever you like, you know, as long as you like it, you know, it's good. So I, I, I like that. I like that a lot. And so um, what is your favorite part about designing? My favorite part is, to say that truthfully, um, it's just because I, I do a lot of illustrations. It's just using a pen tool. Um, pen tools are actually really fun to work with. The way you curve the text, and it, it may take a long time, but when you see the finished product, you know your time is well spent. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. And so, um, you know, talking about time well spent and you know success. You know, what what is how do you how do you define success? Success, success, sorry, um, is working hard at something you put your passion into. Really, uh, you can only succeed. You can only get what you put in. That 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 that's what most of my teachers really say to me. Um, and I think I think that's really true. Mm -hmm. Very true. You know, you, the harder you put in, you know, the more or the better success. And you know, yeah, I, I like that. I like that a lot. And so, you know, talking about you know success and you know YouTube. And so, so who is your inspiration on YouTube? Like, like how do you, who is the person that you like saw make a video and you're like, I want to do that. I want to make a video. The person I saw um, was I think. I didn't know Apex. It, um, it's, it's not Phase Apex, which quick people are probably thinking. It's the, uh, I think called John. I'm not too sure. Uh, but, um, Jay West. Yeah, J Jay West. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, his videos was when I saw it, it, it just made me want to design so much better and higher my standards to what he was doing, and hopefully I'll get to his standard or or above someday. 
Yeah, no, that's that's awesome. And uh, Jay West is also my inspiration. Like his videos are what got me on YouTube as well four years ago. So that's that's really awesome. And it's kind of funny how you know we both saw the same person. And you know Jay West is just a huge inspiration. He's just he's a great designer. And that's why you know we put in there uh, for our dissecting the greats was our first episode of that is Jay West. So if you guys want to check out that video, make sure to uh, click the annotation on screen now and just check out that uh, dissecting the greats. It's not actually up when this video is uploaded. It'll actually I think be up on either Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure. But you know, moving on from that, so we talked about what graphics mean to you. We talked about you know your biggest inspiration. We've talked about how you found your way on a graphics, but you know. Graphics is the key, but it also goes to what you do when you're not behind the computer. So, what are, what are some of your hobbies that you do when you're not doing graphics? My I in school and outside of school, I um, play basketball. I play for my for for Hounslow um, in England. Mm -hmm. uh, it, I play center because I'm I'm very tall, um, not not very fast, but I. I'm just really, really tall. I'm probably about six foot two. Oh wow! <laughs> um, and another hobby of mine is probably just playing computer games. Really. Mm -hmm. um, Call of Duty is one of the favorite games I like to play, and also um, NFL. Uh -huh. So um, I I'm sorry I missed. What was your like sport? What was the sport that you play? What is it called? Basketball. Oh, basketball. Okay, okay, I got you. I was, I was like, I, I was like, center. You know, what's the Because I didn't under hear you at first. But okay, basketball is a great sport. I love basketball. I, I don't watch it because I prefer football. You know, that's kind of my sport. I didn't even know they had basketball over in England. That's cool. They, they have like a. It's not, it's not as intense and as fun to watch as um, American basketball, but. It, you could you make the most of what you really got. Yeah, and I got you, I got you. But still, that's awesome. I mean, six two is a good height. I know um, my brother. I'm just taller than my brother, sitting at six feet. And there's a picture. I'm actually gonna try and find it and put it on screen here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. But my brother, he's the uh, head baseball coach over at Wheeler High School, which is like right right by me. And he's their head varsity baseball coach. But he went to a basketball game because he also teaches gym. And he's like five eleven, like just like an inch under me. Like he's probably almost six foot. And this guy was like a foot taller than him. Like all the basketball players that play it, like Wheeler won the state champ, or they were runners up to the state champion uh, last year. So like they're a really good team. And like the people are like, like I think six seven, six eight. You know, it's <laughs> it's crazy how tall people are in basketball. Like it's, I, I couldn't even imagine being that tall. <laughs> but uh, it, let's go on. You know, another thing like more about you as a person. So like, how old are you? Um, I'm fourteen. 14 years old, wow. He's this good at 14, I'm 18. So imagine you four years when you're my age, I can't even imagine how good you're gonna be. And so, going back to that, like, how long have you been doing graphics for? Um, probably about for four years now, I think. Four years, wow, so you have four years, so you started when you were 10 years old? Mm -hmm. That's actually, that's really impressive. I, I dig that, and so uh, another thing is like Mac or PC. I'm a I'm a Windows fan, so I have to go with PC. <laughs> okay, I mean that makes sense. Uh, do you have like a tricked out like PC or like what type of computer do you have? I have a standard ASUS um, laptop. It's not the best, but get it gets the job done really. <laughs> yeah, no, it does, and your videos definitely show that for you. And so we we've talked about a lot here, and we've talked about that kind of stuff. But you know what what would you personally recommend? to like newer designers and people who want to get into graphics. I mean, you have four years experience under your belt. You're, you know, very talented. I mean, how, how do you recommend new designers to get started? Um, to, to new designers, um, what, what, let, let me tell you what I really did when I started. Um, I watched loads and loads of tutorial vi videos from, maybe you've heard it or not, chichachacket.com. Ch -ch -check it, check it's us or something like that. Um, it's really good. It makes they make really good um, tutorial videos, and the guy explains it very well for beginners to understand. Um, yeah, when you're a beginner, you should probably check his site out as well. All right, and uh, what is the site again? Check your check its clan, I think. Okay, so we'll have to go ahead and check that out. And so, very last question, just to kind of wrap things up, what is your favorite brand? 
Like, like Baffert doesn't or just anything. Well, like favorite brand overall, like Coca Cola, Red Bull, oh. or esports brand, or YouTube. Like, what's what's your favorite brand? Like, what logo have you ever seen that's like your favorite logo or your favorite like entire brand identity? Um, my favorite brand identity identity was was <laughs> mm-hmm. um on on the Mars bar advert they made um a really funny advert that I liked and the logo on the Mars bar is pretty funny, pretty good. Okay, awesome. I, I like that. I like that. My personal one is Disney. Just because, like, I mean, Disney is just an imaginary place. Like, there, there is no ground to reality in Disney. And so just the whole idea of, like, someone creating an entire world in their head and then, like, exploding it and making it, like, a real place, like, I think that's really cool. But, uh, yeah, you said it's Mossberg, right? Yeah. Yeah, Mossberg. I, I think I've seen them before, so that's really cool, too. Well, I just want to thank you, Chaser. If you want to go ahead and give yourself a little shout-out now and a little advertisement for yourself, feel free to go ahead and do that. Um, if you want, I'm going to be doing a tutorial series on my channel, so just come come to my channel and um, comment, on, comment on one of my videos, and the, a tutorial will be, will be out. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is your channel? Like, What's the channel name? YouTube.com slash... slash um, Chaser Designs. YouTube.com slash Chaser Designs. Make sure you guys go subscribe to him. He's a very talented designer, very underrated. He's one of the best that we've had on our channel, uh, to say the least. And Chaser's a very, very talented guy. And definitely, I can't wait to see this uh, tutorial series because he definitely has not a lot of knowledge being in graphic design for four years. And so, yes, we want to thank you, Chaser, for joining us today. And we look forward to working with you in the future. Yeah, th- thank you. Well, um, interview has been great, right? So, thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching this Designer Spotlight interview with the awesome Chaser Designs. Make sure to go check out his channel. But as you're doing that, make sure to check out the two videos on screen if you haven't already. The one on the left is a Resource Monday episode where we give away vector files, a lot of really cool stuff. You can also, if you click that, you'll actually go to the playlist with all our Resource Monday videos, so that's really cool. And if you click on the right, that is the Big Change Update video, which talks about the rebrand and where the channel is headed. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and go Mad Designers!